वेलकम टू इंडी रेडियो न्यूज रील आई एम प्राजक्ता एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू द न्यूज अपडेट्स फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अक्टूबर टू यू आर द इंटरनेशनल न्यूज अपडेट्स फॉर टुडे तुर्की स्ट्राइक्स इराक सीरिया आफ्टर अटैक ऑन डिफेंस कंपनी नियर अंकारा Turkey's air force has struck Kurdish targets in Iraq and Syria in apparent retaliation for an attack on a key state-run defense company that killed 5 people and wounded more than 20. The Ministry of National Defense said today that 47 targets were destroyed in the aerial offensive on Wednesday without providing details on the locations that were hit. It said all kinds of precautions were taken to prevent civilian harm. Defense Minister Yasser Guler said Turkish forces struck 29 targets in northern Iraq and 18 in northern Syria. Severe storm Trami wreaks havoc in the Philippines. Severe storm Trami made landfall today on the Philippines' northeastern coast. It brought more rains on a hard-hit region in the country's main island, raising the death toll so far to at least 26. More than 150,000 have fled their homes. Over 5,000 passengers and dozens of vessels have been stranded at ports, the Philippine Coast Guard said. Pakistan ex-PM Imran Khan's wife Bushra Bibi released from prison. Bushra Bibi, the wife of Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan, has been released from the prison nearly nine months after the couple was sentenced in a case linked to the illegal sale of state gifts. Bibi was released from Adiala Jail in the garrison city of Rawalpindi today after being granted bail the previous day by the Islamabad High Court. Both Bibi and Khan were sentenced to 14 years in jail in January after being found guilty on multiple charges of retaining and selling state gifts in violation of government rules. The Khans deny the charges and say they were trumped up by the government. Now to the national news stories. Evacuations underway as severe cyclone barrels towards Odisha Bengal coasts. The coastal regions of Odisha and West Bengal experienced moderate to heavy rainfall and gusty winds as severe cyclonic storm Dana inched closer to the state's coasts. The cyclonic storm is likely to make landfall between Bhitarkanika National Park and Dhamra Port in Odisha early Friday with wind speeds of up to 120 kilometers per hour. Both the states have put the government machinery on high alert. Odisha has already evacuated over 10 lakh people from areas that will be hit by cyclone Dana. Over 300 trains have been cancelled and flight operations at Kolkata and Bhubaneswar Airport have also been suspended from 6 p.m. today till 9 a.m. on Friday. Supreme Court set back for Sharad Pawar clock symbol stays with Ajit Pawar The clock symbol of the Nationalist Congress Party or NCP will stay with Ajit Pawar the Supreme Court said today in a setback for veteran leader Sharad Pawar ahead of the Maharashtra Assembly election The court however added that the Ajit Pawar faction has to meticulously follow its earlier order and add disclaimers in election advertisements clarifying that the court is yet to take a final decision in the matter The earlier temporary order came when the Sharad Pawar faction had approached the top court challenging the election commission's decision to award the party name and election symbol to the Ajit Pawar faction. It had asked that both factions be given new symbol ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Over 70 Air India Indigo Vistara Akasa flights get fresh bomb threats. More than 70 flights from different Indian airlines received fresh bomb threats today. About 20 flights each from Air India, Vistara and Indigo were affected while Akasa Air received threats for around 14 flights. Earlier this week, Civil Aviation Minister K Ram Mohan Naidu said that the government plans to take legislative action to address instances of bomb threats to airlines including placing perpetrators of such threats on the no-fly list. Thank you for listening to Indi Radio News Deal. For more news, audio books, and podcasts, stay tuned to Indi Radio or log on to www.indijournal.in. Also, consider subscribing to listen to our premium shows.